084-251-054. That's the number. My prison number. The Lower Side, when I very first came in the 50s, there was extreme poverty, and I felt we had to do something about it. I was the so-called activist, speaking at rallies, doing masses, and all that. I was born a nationalist. I've always been, will be, and will go to my grave as a staunch supporter of the Irish freedom fighters. And I always said, be free, be good, help develop the quality of goodness in other people. Bonitas is the Latin word for goodness. Bonitas House was founded in 1957. We bought this house with a down payment of $1,500. It was a residence for displaced young people, tender, tough kids who had to fight just to live and exist in New York. And as a result of the poverty and the total neglect by the city, it generated crime. Gangs were rampant. I knew them all personally. I was a member of all the gangs, but belonged to none of them. Candles. Most of the kids that came, they looked at me, it's like, they never had a father, so they're related to a male person. They looked at me as, as pap and, and padre. Padre stuck, I don't know why. We sheltered many undocumented people, and occasionally helping to keep people out of sight as long as they needed to be kept out of sight. One of the people I helped turned out to be the robber in the Brinks case. 1993. I was leaving this house with a young man, a group of kids around the house, and I was walking down the steps when I see all the guns pointing up at me. And they blocked up both ends of the street, they had snipers in the front of the building, in the back of the building, and everything. And they told me to stay, put my hands up, and I did. And uh, then they took all the youngsters out that cold November night even without their jackets, lined them up along the street with weapons trained on them. They were terrorized, and I was arrested and charged with the Brinks robbery. The Brinks robbery was the fifth largest robbery of its kind in the United States. The FBI people, they were trying to get the Irish Republican Army and others. Well known for my outspoken support of the Irish movement, I was a prestigious scapegoat. When I went on trial, I consulted Cardinal O'Connor. The Cardinal said to me, we better not to testify in the interest of protecting the many who came to me in confidence, people who had come from the prisons in Ireland, men on the run, and so forth. I couldn't lie on the stand, so I couldn't defend myself. Five and a half million, it was never recovered. Many of them think I know where it is. And if I do, I'm not telling. Okay. I was sentenced to 51 months. It was the richest spiritual experience of my life. During my imprisonment, the neighbors of the Lower East Side came together, helping to support Bonita's house. The young men who were still at the house remained on. I would call every week, speak for about 15 minutes, and tell them, keep the fires burning, and they did. Oh, Lord, what did they do to me? But after I came home from prison, the house was virtually empty. Most of the young men over that four years had graduated. I just reopened and started anew and continued to the present day. I love what I do. Hello, Bishar. Happy to you too. Are you coming by? The priest is one who's called to be a father to all to be a member of all families, they're belonging really to none. <laughs>